Let's face it, it's hard enough raising kids with two parents, two incomes, while living in a decent neighborhood with low crime and a decent school system. Now imagine the incredible difficulty trying to raise kids when you're a single parent mother living in an impoverished neighborhood filled with no jobs, drugs, and gangs. This is the reality of a lot of single parent mothers raising kids in America's inner cities. Think about what goes through the minds of these women when they hear their elected officials whose kids have both parents, two incomes, attend private schools, and live in gated communities with their nanny, tell them that common sense gun control measures are what's needed to keep these women safe when they have to walk home late at night from their second job that they work to provide for their kids. I'm the product of a single parent mother. I have friends who are products of single parent mothers. And there's one thing that I've learned from my experiences with single parent women and those raised by them. There's nothing weak about these women, but they are also considered easy targets by criminals and predators, and thus the most vulnerable people, if not in the inner cities, but America. We should be empowering these women. Instead, gun control activists tell these women to depend on police response times, which are a joke in these places, or to depend on criminals obeying ineffective gun control laws passed by politicians who only care about looking like they care about improving the conditions in the inner cities when they really don't. As single parents, there's so much these women are already forced to depend on. They have to depend on family members to babysit, sympathetic daycares to stay open late, public transportation to get to and from work. They have to depend on underfunded and broken school systems to give their kids a proper education. Instead, you tell them as women, you shouldn't own a gun to protect your family because it'll just be used against you because we're okay with you raising three kids on your own, but as a woman, you are totally incapable of using a gun to protect yourself and those kids. Most of these inner cities already have strict gun control laws, but gun control politicians keep insisting that this time, gun control law number 329 is gonna keep you safe, even though she has no clue what gun control laws one through 328 are because she's too busy trying to raise three boys by herself and prevent them from becoming another statistic. It's hard enough as a lawyer to understand the current gun laws. You think a single parent has the time to become a legal scholar on gun laws? She just wants a gun to protect herself and her family. No, instead, let's just keep coming up with more gun control laws that haven't worked for decades to stop inner city violence so this single parent mother can accidentally break one of them because she wanted to protect her family and kids and then end up in jail with no one to take care of her son. Then when she gets out, she can't find a job now because she has a record. Her son starts looking for ways to make money because his father's gone. He can't get a job because no one wants to hire a little black kid from the ghetto because the broken school system who should be teaching him the skills to thrive in a work environment treats him like an inmate instead. So he turns to the streets, joins a gang, starts selling drugs and carrying a gun for protection only to be negatively influenced by the people in the gang. And now he's forced to shoot at people he doesn't even have beef with, but people in his gang do. And now their beef is his beef. And now he's forced to play the part of a monster because if he doesn't, he'll be eaten by them. But for the gun control advocates, it makes no difference. This kid is just more fodder to push their gun control agenda to suburban housewives living in gated communities with guards carrying the same Glock 19 that got this kid's mother tossed in jail. The same Glock 19 that he now carries for protection while selling drugs. The same Glock 19 that gun control advocates will hoist in the air and say, this is the problem with our inner cities. Not the lack of opportunities, not the failing education system, not the poverty, not the broken homes, it's the evil spirit of the gun that makes these kids living in these terrible conditions shoot at each other. <laughs> yeah, gun control does wonders for single parent mothers. Insert sarcasm.